Hi, I'm Wired. Welcome to Wireworks. Hey everybody, Wire here. Uh, I'm going to make this a little short video. I've been pretty busy this week. Um, a buddy of mine gave me this. Um, this is a Coleman hatchet. Um, it's got a pretty nice edge on it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to get all this rust off of it and uh, get a get a halfway decent. And uh, it's not an old it's not an old hatchet, and but I do need a hatchet when I go camping. And like I said, a buddy of mine gave this to me. I don't know if you can see that. There's rust right here. There's no pitting on it. We're just going to like clean it up, polish it up, and uh, clean the handle up and make this nice and presentable. And uh, stash it in the uh, van for when I go camping. I did want to show you guys something else that we're going to be doing in the future. Um, hold on. Let me get this. Let me get this view in. A lot of you knew I bought a uh, tackle shop uh, last month, beginning of last month. And going through all the stuff, uh, I had a lot of junk in there, but he had a lot of nice stuff too. I'm doing really well with the tackle shop. But I found this old tackle box. It's, in, it's not beat up. It's just a little bit bad shape, a lot of little surface rusting. Everything works on it. It uh, doesn't have a key, but I'll make a key for it. I'm pretty sure I got one already. The inside looks great. Like I said, it's a little rusted. It's just all surface rust. Everything seems to be intact. It's not bent. It's a little bent right here, but I think I can straighten this out but uh, this is going to be a future project we're going to restore this and get it back into nice working condition I'm not going to use it I'm going to restore it and uh, put it up as a wall it won't be a wall hanger because you can't hang it up on the wall but as you can see it looks like somebody painted it already um, I'm not sure what the original color is but I had a friend of mine told me that these were made in the late 40s and early 50s. So it is pretty old. Like I said, it's not beat up or anything. A couple dings in it, but I'm going to knock him out. I only see one ding in it. And the front face is a little pushed out, but we're going to fix all that. But uh, this is going to be for a future, uh, a future video. Anyway, let's get back to the, to the uh, hatchet.
Okay, just the finished product. Like I said, we're not. I wasn't going to spend a lot of time today on the video. I'm really, really busy. Um, got all the rust off. Uh, still pretty sharp. And I've seen these guys on YouTube where they sharpen the hatchet so it'll cut the hair on their arms. Um, I'm not shaving with this thing. I'm cutting logs with it. You know, it doesn't have to be razor sharp to cut logs, but it's sharp enough. Um, so this is what we have for this. Um, this is going to go in the in the van for when uh, me and Tweety go camping. Uh, I do have a, a saw to cut logs, but every once in a while I need to chop a piece down or split them. And this will be great for splitting them. Uh, anyway, I want to show you guys one more thing before I sign off today. Uh, last week, Scoutcrafter uh, had something on his channel. Um, I believe it was last week. The Link Blowtorch. Well, I thought it was so cool, I had to get one. So, this one needs a little bit of cleaning up. I mean, we're not going to do that today on here, but uh, this seems like this is pretty cool. I'll get to try it out. But uh, sometimes you guys get things, and I've never seen them before, and I've got to get one myself. And these are readily available. It's not like they're scarce. These are all over the internet. I think I paid like uh, $10 for this free shipping. And um, it's a little different than the one he had. Um, the bottom cap is a little different. Um, but it basically does the same thing. Uh, so, like I said, Scout Crafter. Uh, so sometimes uh, you got the same things in your shop as I got in mine, and sometimes I got the same things in my shop you have in yours. Uh, if I didn't know any better, you'd be my damn twin brother. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. This is Wired Wireworks. God bless you all. Have a good one.